Hi, good evening, Jason here, right? So today we'll be unboxing a Citizen. This uh, is the third watch that I bought in Japan. This is the MB1060 Citizen Lacquer Leaf Down. All right, I had bought two watches in the morning, all right? The Casio Oceanus as well as a uh, Citizen MB1050. And then I bought this watch uh at 9 31 30 minutes before closing i i was looking to go to the shops at maybe 8 30 had a good look and maybe even consider even buying a grand seiko at yodabashi camera right yodabashi camera here is the here is where i got the watch from yodabashi camera but uh my child my child had other ideas nevertheless here we are with the Citizen MB1060. Alright, so uh, this was released in 2022. Jody, Jody from uh, just one more watch, call it the Dow of the Year. I think there's another Singaporean uh, YouTuber. He uh, reviewed this watch and this really got my attention. Right, you can see the reflections, you can see, probably guess where I stay. Uh, it's evening sun here, but you can see the lacquer leaf down, lacquer leaf down, very, the texture, alright? So, this watch houses, uh, oh, let me just give you some dimensions. I think this is 39mm case diameter, 46.5 lug to lug, 12.2mm uh, thickness. You see the uh, brush polishing on the profile, no sign, crown thickness, 12.2mm. And uh, first thing that annoys you, annoys you is the 19mm lug width. 19mm lug width means if you're not very careful, you're not very careful, you might have to end up going back to Citizen to get the straps replaced. I know 19mm is getting more commonplace, but it is an odd size, so it might not be uh, compatible, compatible with uh, you know the other watches in your collection. 6 and 1 quarter inch wrist for your reference right so the dial check it out i will give you some nicer shots uh, what stand out what really stands out is that the dial is very uh the handset the indices they are really very sharp all right they're really very sharp i would say that the choice of a white background for the date window mm, was a minor deal breaker all right i still got a watch because I was there, I had the yen and I had the yen for a CD Zen, alright? So, uh, that was about maybe MSRP, that is the sticker price for this watch, I can review to its 85,000 Japanese yen, 85,000 Japanese yen. Of course, there will be tax-free as well as other uh, minor discounts at Yodabashi camera, alright? So, uh, where are we? And then, they, this watch houses a Miyota 9011 caliber. Alright, just see at the back, a 9011 caliber uh, with 42 hours power reserve. Beats, 4 beats, 4 ticks per second, as well as an accuracy and an accuracy of uh, minus 10 seconds to plus 30 seconds per day. Let's just see how much it wobbles while it wobbles. It goes round and round like a record. You spin me right round. All right. So jokes aside, let me just uh, wind the watch, adjust the watch to another position to let you see how it looks. You see, you notice that the second hand moves back a bit. All right. So let me just put it at uh, maybe 10 minutes to 2. All right. So you can see the citizen on the down. All right, apologies for poor lighting. It's evening here. I found some time to do this. Uh, let me just wind it. Not sure if you can hear the winding sound. It's not very obvious. All right. Again, returning to the back. Yeah, it really spins a lot. The rotor on the Citizen spins uh, very fast as compared to a uh, Seiko. But this is a good movement. All right. One of the better calibers from Citizen. I'm not sure uh, what other questions you have for me. Maybe I will just uh, get in some close-up shots. You can see how the texture, the dial, plays with the light. This is not a new watch, right? This is not a new watch, all right? 
Uh, I do have some, you know, issues with uh, Citizen. Uh, they have been releasing many interesting uh, watches, especially the Suyosas as well as they have a Suyosa collaboration with Pantone. But this watch really, first thing that comes to my mind, first thing that comes to my mind is one of the cocktail time, one of the older cocktail time with a similar colour in a Fiume down, right? Fiume down. Let me just show you what's outside my window to see the various onion Onion, onion scales, all right? Wow, the indices, they are just very sharp. All right, no loom, so I won't be providing you a loom shot. Uh, the strap, again, 19mm is the minor deal breaker as well as the white date window. Otherwise, you're getting a very uh, smart looking watch. Pretty much rivals Citizen's uh, Cocktail Time or even the, uh, the sub series, all right? So that's all I have for you. It is the last of three watches that I bought from Japan. All right, I have so much to whine about it. If you are my friend and you ask me about how was my trip, I was utterly, utterly uh, gutted. I was utterly devastated. But that is for another video altogether. I will be, I will be reviewing some of the recent purchase in 2023 uh, just to pad up my view count. But uh, if you like what you are watching or you have questions on this watch, just leave them in the comment section below. Be sure, be sure to like, share and subscribe. Alright, so one more time, one more time, we're feeding on my 6 and 1 quarter inch trees. Alright, so this is the Citizen MB1060 uh, 39mm case diameter as seen here on my 6 and 1 quarter inch trees. Alright, 46, 47mm luck to luck. Alright. I will see you in the next video. Cheers.